Radio. We are proud to fight alongside men once more. Hello everybody, welcome to LT Gaming. My name is Tom and today we are taking a look at Heroes 3 and we're taking a look at a series of maps that have been created and they are inspired by the Lord of the Rings lore, so the books and the films, and have resulted in these three maps that you see here. Uh, so Heroes of the Ring 3.1, we have this uh, kind of what-if scenario, and the, the what-if is that Bilbo never uh, made the journey to the Lonely Mountain, and therefore a war, the War of the Ring is basically a huge bloodthirsty uh, clash between four different factions on each side. So you have the three versions of the map. Um, what I would say is this is these two are like story-driven um, very much role-playing-esque maps where you will play through um, as a faction and there'll be a lot of text and a lot of story um, to go with that. So I'll, I'll jump in and I'll show you what I, I mean. Uh, but this one is, I, I won't go into it, but it is more of a casual um, map where you have a free-for-all, one castle, one hero start, very... Um, very much, you know, what you see here is, uh, you know, characters from the book, but they are incredibly powerful and it is a very fun way to play the map uh, or play the scenario. So Heroes of the Ring, let's jump in and have a look at what we have. So eight factions, four on each side, good and evil, if you want to make it very simplistic. Um, so you have some recognizable characters um, here immediately, but red is Mordor ultimately, and uh, the I think it's the orange, pink, and brown are the kind of evil goblin orc factions um, that are scattered around. Um, you also then have kind of the the humans, the elves, and many of the main movie characters. Um, or book characters, whatever you wish, uh, as part of these factions. So I'll jump into uh, the blues, who are kind of, what well, I'd say, the primary goodies <laughs> in terms of uh, recognizable characters. And this is just to give you an idea of how it would look for each faction. I won't go through every faction, um, but we have Faramir, immediately recognizable character, Boromir, even more so. Denethor, you know, maybe some people be scratching their heads there. Aragorn, um, classic, Gandalf, classic, and Imrahil, you know, maybe a little more knowledge required there as well. So, how does it look and how does it play? So, it plays very much like um, a story driven map, if anyone, if you guys are familiar with those sort of. Um, takes I will enter a cheat code just to reveal the map and so you guys can see the level of work that has gone into this is immense um, and I'm not revealing anything that isn't wasn't in the reddit post originally but this is just a great way for you to see the level of work and dedication and I would say passion that has gone into this product is immense and you have an overworld section here where you, for example, with the Misty Mountains going down the center. Through here, you've got the lands of Mordor, um, which is obviously very much fire and brimstone, obviously. Desert landscapes, it's all faithfully adapted from the book, um, books and film, and it is truly fantastic. And then we have this very lovely done um, underground section that represents different parts of the world and they've done this incredibly well um, I feel to kind of create unique sections of the planet um, that are uh, various quests will lead you to I mean we have the Blessed Isles right here I believe this is supposed to be um, so yeah all so deep 
and so much to unpack here. It is truly phenomenal if you enjoy the single player experience of Heroes 3. Um, what I One kind of final note I would give uh, as a recommendation is that these uh, games do come with uh, resource packs which add a lot of soundtrack uh, you know from the, the movie series and a lot of what I would say vibe and feel from the movies and I'd highly recommend to play with those active as it does kind of transform the experience for you one thing uh, why I'm not doing it in uh, this video because it just obviously the music would be trademarked um, or copyrighted rather and you know that would mean I couldn't show uh, some of it or it lead to some issues with YouTube but I would highly recommend getting those resource packs as well um, one uh, one final final note is the heroes themselves have a lot of work gone into them um, so they're not simply just you know a level one knight they are kind of different power levels um, different troop configura configurations different skill configurations and a lot of them will have very powerful artifacts as well so we can see Boromir here uh, specialty swordsman very good skills I would say maybe drop the ballistics but hey Denethor you know some very powerful uh, diplomacy artifacts equipped Aragorn is just ridiculous <laughs> um, his speed abilities are insane Gandalf, a very powerful character, as he very well should be. He starts with the Ring of the Magi um, and Spellbinder's Hat. And he has a speciality to create enchanters from Zealots or Magi, which is obviously very potent in itself. Well, I don't know why I'm making Saxiers falling into the default. But each faction has um, a lot of started characters and each one has unique set of abilities um, that will kind of lend itself to certain strategies uh, along the way. There are kind of mechanics built in um, with these garrison gates that prevent like just very early rushes and things like that as they have huge armies that are needed to be overcome. And just so you know, you cannot you know, un-garrison these. Uh, so I can't just go get 600 marksmen straight away this creates kind of a, a mechanic where you're gonna have to be very powerful um, by the end game and the fights i haven't got there yet i am halfway through a game and maybe if you guys have an interest i will play through a game um in a campaign style but uh yeah i haven't got to the end game yet um but i am looking forward to the size of the armies i'm gonna have when that happens and how powerful my heroes are gonna be um, so yeah, I would say if you love Lord of the Rings and you love the you know single you player unique experience of Heroes 3, this is a definite pickup for you. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'll put links in the description to the Reddit post, which you know had a lot of detail to it, um, and it has the download links within there as well. And uh, yeah, give these guys some love. Give them, um, let them know if. Uh, if they've done a great job and you've enjoyed the map as uh, I think this is uh, kind of things that are needed for the community to not only cater to the multiplayer side of Heroes 3 but also you know keep the single player uh, side alive and well thank you for tuning in and I'll catch you guys on the next one bye bye